greetings by your friends. Welcome to a new edition of the IoT Friday. Today I'm going to present how to learn Arduino in just five minutes or even less with the help of, yeah, actually an Arduino Uno. Uh, so Arduino Uno is one of my favorite, or actually Arduino is one of my favorite platforms to, to make some prototypes or to connect uh, sensors and actuators to the internet. Actually it's one of my favorites because it was the first one that actually I tried and I learned and I grow up with, with Arduinos. So, yeah, it's a fantastic platform if you want to learn how sensors and electronic works. And it's actually pretty easy if you know C programming language um, to, to connect anything to the internet, actually. So let me show you what is Arduino and how does it work. So first, yeah, let me present the Arduino Uno with some digital uh, pins and analog pins. And here you can find some power pins. So I think actually, it's a pretty good copy made by our camera, Hector. Uh, so the Arduino Uno is a very tiny hardware platform. So we have a, a, an 80 mega uh, CPU, and then we have 32 kilobytes of storage and 2 kilobytes of uh, RAM. That means that we have a, a lot of restrictions when we do our uh, software on the top of the Arduino. That said, uh, this platform is just uh, is, it's just made to stack more and more. Um, shields on the top. So the idea is that this Arduino Uno is not connected to the internet, but we can stack on the top uh, an Ethernet shield or a Wi-Fi shield or a GSM shield uh, made by Telefonica on the top and we give connectivity to the code that is running inside of this Arduino Uno. Um, there are more Arduino actually now in the market. Um, thanks to the Arduino community, we have maybe the last uh, one that is or the most popular now, it's the Arduino Yoon with Wi-Fi connectivity embedded, and it works pretty well. But yeah, I would like to go with the most basic because it's very easy to introduce people with the most basic one. So, okay, so for connecting sensors and actuators, we have to take into account uh, the, if the sensor or the actuator uh, needs digital uh, input or analog. Or uh, even we have some pins for the PWM, that means that uh, we have analog signals and we want to see it on, on digital, uh, on analog um, way with some modulations. We have also 3.3 volts uh, or 5 volts. And yeah, that's all. So you can connect some of these sensors that support this. To program it, it's very easy. So you go to arduino.cc, and this is a website of the Arduino community. And from that, you download the Arduino IDE. It's a very simple uh, IDE where you can program your, uh, yeah, your code. And it works pretty easy. So the code, of, so the language of Arduino, it's a variant of C or C++, actually. And it's pretty simple if you know C or C++. So how it works is it has two main modules. The first one is setup, where you set up all the, all the um, for example, if you have connectivity to Wi-Fi, you set up all the Wi-Fi connectivity or Ethernet to get an IP address uh, from the router, etc. Um, and that, and then uh, there is the loop um, module, where in the loop, it's every some milliseconds, uh, this is a, a, a buckle that it's, it's uh, repeating and repeating, repeating over the time, the loop. So here is where your code goes and where you are uh, getting data from the, from the analog or digital pins and you actually are making something with that. Okay, finally some tips. So, the Arduino community is huge. That means that if you Google for uh, libraries or if you go to SparkFun or any of these websites to buy sensors, you will find a lot of libraries made by Arduino to connect these sensors here. So, actually uh, you will find almost everything done and ev almost every problem uh, solved uh, on, on the top of Arduinos. Then the second tip is that if, if you need it, you can make your own do-it-yourself library. So if you know C++, very easily you can build up a new library on the top. Uh, the things that I owe, we are going to publish the, our, uh, the things that I owe Arduino library in the next weeks. So uh, we will send you a message to when we will publish it. Uh, the next tip is about battery. So Arduino it's, uh, needs a lot of battery. So it's because of the loop that it's getting executed every some milliseconds, usually one millisecond, that it drains the battery very, very fast. So there are some techniques to improve the battery uh, consumption. 
So we suggest you to, for example, in the book of uh, designing uh, connected things or uh, blogs or so just Google for how to improve your uh, your quality of the code of Arduino to to avoid this uh, battery high consumption and you will find some tips. And finally, if you are going to on production, we don't recommend to go to Arduino. This is just a prototype tool that it's very cool, it's open source, it's open hardware, but don't go to production with Arduino. And that's all for this IoT Friday. Thank you very much and see you next edition. Bye.